Hey everyone, it's Ryan Mitchell from Evolution Fitness Centre. This week's exercise of the week, we want to continue with the theme of the kettlebell flipping of over the wrist or around the wrist. Last week I discussed the kettlebell clean. This week I want to talk about the kettlebell snatch. I'll just show you what a snatch looks like. It's an overhead movement. Now, a lot of people don't like doing it because when it flips over the, the kettlebell flips over the hand, it causes a, a higher impact and it hurts the forearm or the wrist. However, this is a simple technique you can use to alleviate this. As you're bringing the kettlebell up and keep it relatively close to your body, you bring it up and you snap the hips forward, you bring it up and then you punch. It's like you're putting your hand through a windshield or a jacket. You punch the air punch it and the kettlebell will use the momentum that you've generated from down here and it will just flip over and it will just sit nicely on your really tight, really clenched forearm. So swing, punch, swing, punch, swing, punch. One clean movement, swing, punch, swing, punch. If you're really struggling, you can do what's called a bottoms up uh, snatch. You can see that's where you don't actually learn the kettlebell to flip. It's not as safe, there's obviously a lot less control and stability up there, but if you're really struggling, uh, it's a good way of doing snatches until you learn the technique of punching the air and allow the kettlebell to flip over the wrist without causing you any harm. Give it a try and let me know how you go. Uh, drop me a line. My website is evolutionfitnesscenter.com.au and I'll see you next week.